Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Session Recap. Today is 30 November 2015. My name is Nenad, and I wish you all a good evening. So today we will see how the previous week was for us, and uh, previous week was excellent. We got total of 220 pips possible. So if you even got uh, 10 or 20 percent of that number. It was still good, especially Euro dollar and New Zealand dollar, which were definitely the trade trades of the week. And before I proceed with webinar, of course, I need to tell you a few things about risks. Then we can proceed as always. Online educational materials are available by Admiral Markets, Estonia for a global audience. If you want to get the corresponding information on charting information. Uh, information on charting conditions and any other details, you should visit AlibraMarketsGlobal.com, select your country and contact an appropriate entity. A risk disclosure statement is explaining all possible risks associated with Forex market. By accepting the risk, you're also proceeding further with me. Final part saying that Alibra Markets will take no responsibility for information accuracy. This is not UK, uh, Admiral Markets UK opinion. This is solely my opinion, and this webinar is for informational and educational purposes only. Admiral Market Supreme Edition is a great tool to your trading. You can download it by logging into your trader's room. It's an excellent add-on, and definitely you're trading with the best MT4 broker, which is Admiral Markets, voted by UK traders. Now, guys. For all newcomers here, you need to know that all session recap trades and analysis is done with Camarilla MACD, the method which I use for analysis and for taking swing positions. So Camarilla MACD is a comprehensive price action method. Every single analysis is done with Camarilla MACD. Also, what is important is that you can enter within 5 to 15 pips of the predicted level if it's in agreement with your system. So, if uh, you see that the analysis is valid and if your, uh, if your system confirms it, it, even better. Paul is saying, I don't have audio. Has it started? Yes, Paul. Audio is fine. So... Guys, it seems that our attendee has a problem. Okay, so use scaling in if you are not sure if you want to if you want to take a whole position. What does it mean scaling? If you remember, uh, we always talk about zones. Okay, so when you see that the price is entering the zone, which I have uh, explained in my uh, analysis. For example, this is the zone, and the price is trying to get in the zone. And the analysis is suggesting that it should reject from the zone. Then, instead of taking whole position here, you can divide. For example, taking if, you're, if you want to trade with 0.3 lots, then you can enter here with 0.10, here with 0.10, here with 0.10. By effectively using scaling in, your losses will be exponentially lower and your uh, wins will be exponentially, I say your profit will be exponentially higher, not wins, profit. So guys, uh, it's always good if you are able, of course, uh, if you're able to, it's always good to scale in. So the thing is, uh, you always need to think about your risk. Always. So, first touches of the zones and levels are most profitable ones. Okay? First touches of the zones. Uh, okay, guys. Uh, I didn't pause the screen. I don't know why. Let's see. Let's see. Let's wait, guys. Oh, sorry. Is it, is it okay now? Thank you for reminder. The slide should be okay now. You see, this is risk disclaimer. Uh, Bob is saying yes, net. Uh, yeah, well, yes, yes. 
obviously my I was showing you my second monitor which well which which is not supposed to be shown as a present as a monitor for a presentation so now you're watching my second monitor and it's okay so guys this is what I was explaining I will be fast with this so we can move on to what you are waiting for we will be moving on to last week recap and today's position so if you see that the price is uh, close very close to the zone you can divide your positions if you're able to so if you can trade with uh, normal risk and you can divide your positions in two or three parts which are within the zone always keeping stop loss at the same place okay it's called scaling in it's very effective way and I actually scheduled scheduled a webinar about scaling in for next month so you will be able to see it how we can uh, multiply our profits by exponentially using scaling in okay now position trades are trend trades alternative trades are counter trend trades breakout trades and scalp trade levels are done independently uh, it's usually a second entry depending on time and volatility I really advise you guys to use trailing stop if you see that the price is hesitate hesitant to move in your direction then after some 20 pips you can uh, you can do your own money management you can scale out a position for example if you have three positions you can close one position put a rest to break even whatever so I don't recommend doing it be, uh, below 20 pips I never close these positions uh, below 20 pips this is the least I can make with this and the thing is uh, very often I will let it run but I need to watch the volatility so I advise you to do the same Paul is saying still no audio after restart uh, he needs uh, to catch recording later well I don't know why uh, audio should be fine Ilya audio is good I have confirmation guys audio is good there is a lot of people guys there is a lot of people here and the audio is okay uh, yeah uh, where can I found Camarilla McDee Ralph is asking well Ralph that, that is my personal method and to be honest uh, you can find it anywhere uh, scalp trade should be done at or very close to important support resistance levels calculated by historic levels and Camarilla you can add these levels to your system and definitely guys pay attention to my Twitter updates now a price section training school which I do with Admiral Markets uses a lot of concepts from Camarilla Magdi so uh, Ralph if you want to learn most important concepts for Camarilla Mag Magdi you should definitely be, uh, visit uh, price section training school because there is a lot of things uh, uh, audio uh, uh, Helia is still saying audio he cannot hear I need to say that audio is really fine so guys let's wait I need to type it in okay so guys what is most important thing at this point it's it's important to know that for all uh, newcomers who never visited this uh, webinar before guys please I always say first touches of the zones are most profitable ones and I mean it so we trade the first touch of the zone we trade the first touch of the zone okay that is very very important very important first touch of the zone okay that is what I want to tell you so when price enters the zone bang we pull the trigger session recap past week results euro dollar 70 positional 70 pip on positional trade 20 pip on a breakout trade GBP didn't qualify guys you saw my GBP entry 4990 which happened today so even though the entry was good for 80 pips I cannot count it in because as I said trades are valid for today tomorrow sometimes day after tomorrow but GBP dollar was qualified today so 
But pay attention, those that are always important levels. Okay, Australian dollar didn't qualify. New Zealand dollar plus 90. Dollar cat plus 40. Okay, tall pips pool 220. So it was 220 pips. And trade of the week, definitely Euro dollar and New Zealand dollar. I cannot decide, really. You see Euro dollar, what did I say? Position sell around 0650, stop loss 0700. This was our entry, which happened a day after our webinar. The price went in a profit initially, but then it was rejected and made some drawdown. But what happened then, it was heavily sold, okay, heavily sold, reaching our target price number two, and it, also, it was also qualified for a breakout trade. So if you traded this setup, okay, we also had a breakout trade here. As soon as the price went below 0600, we had a breakout trade. So, because I said breakout trades are done independently, it can be a second entry. So, guys, we made two entries on Euro Dollar, and both were profitable. Okay? Very good setup, and it, it got us a lot of pips. Pound dollar, okay, we didn't have a touch of the zone, but as I said, guys, pay attention to these levels, because we had this setup today, but of course, I cannot count it, I cannot count the setup in session recap setups and trades, but... This was what what, what, what what was the important thing. This level, 49.90. Do you remember how many times I've been mentioning 49.90? Last two recaps, I was telling you that it, it, it doesn't matter if it happens on session recap or later. You should pay attention to the level because 49.90 is very strong level. And look at this, it hit the target, it hit the, the entry, but it happened today. So, yes, it, I cannot count it in session recap trades, but definitely this is what was very, very good to trade. Australian dollar, as same as GBP dollar, didn't qualify. We had buy position at 7,250. The price never got very close until 30th of November, seven days later. But same thing as GBP dollar. Look at this. It didn't qualify for a session recap entry. But look, 7150, this was 7168. Very close. And look at the rejection. But as a session recap trade, it didn't qualify. New Zealand dollar. Excellent trade. We ha had a buy position at 65.00, and our buy position was, was initiated during our live webinar, as I remember. And I told you that I'm in New Zealand dollar, so if you want to join in. Okay, if you want to join in, and I hope that you made some money here. So 65.00 was the entry, and look where the price went, 65.96, guys. Well, we didn't have TP hit, but guys, this is a lot of pips. Greg is saying he made 140 pips on Euro dollar. Well done, Greg, well done. This is what I... Love to hear, really. Well done. I really need. Okay, guys. Okay, this is really what I, what I love to see, that you make money. I love to see when you make money, guys. 
that is what what makes me really really happy you know my my blog if you haven't seen my blog about psychologically psychology uh, psychology of happiness guys you can find it on on admiral markets website under blogs please do it because one of the things which make me happy is you guys definitely you your comments and when i see that you are making money with the analysis i'm really happy a happy person indeed okay dollar cad same thing we got some 40 pips for dollar cad not that bad right because we had a buy position at 3300 okay here and then what happened is well 40 pip possible not bad so guys that was for previous week now let's jump into this week i will short euro dollar how how we say it in english i will short the hell out of euro dollar okay and uh, if you were following webinars you see that i'm i was I've been really shorting the hell out of euro dollar. Now this is now wait for rallies and sell it again. Now one of the reasons why I I am really selling euro dollar guys, I will uh, show you now. I hope that you read this. Today I did the euro dollar analysis, yes? But also guys, uh, let me show you conversation with forex with forex expert okay conversations with forex experts okay forex street website i did an interview today i will show you the screen right away okay i hope that it can be visible in a second okay okay block okay here it is okay let's wait that was conversation with forex experts and that was my interview here i oh, run time error what is this now i said big chance of further quantitative easing and rate cut guys uh i i don't know if other analysts think about rate cut but uh, be aware that we, we you just don't want to trade euro dollar on thursday there will be a huge volatility guys please read this interview here i will post the links guys here and uh, please read it it is very important because i explain some important fundamental facts and uh, we can see really euro dollar even breaking 0500 but I, I, I cannot say now that it, it will happen, but if this happens, well, uh, there is divergence between policies of Fed and ECB, and it could be very, very, very dangerous for Euro in the terms of further selling. So, as I said, a higher divergence between Feds and ECB monetary policies will induce new dollar strength, and I expect that to, to happen, really. even they might do a rate cut which is not which is not definitely which is not uh, predicted here for example if you open a forex factory calendar here you can see that on thursday minimum bid rate is still the same 0 0.05 what if it if it get cut by 10 base percent or base points or 20 see it might be a huge volatility well greg if you want to take this trade uh, do it until wednesday until wednesday okay not after wednesday never this is risky concerning how what it might happen and as i said guys do not go in a position on thursday so but it's still within our risk limit because we always trade these setups today tomorrow and sometimes day after tomorrow let's see what will happen tomorrow but guys this is what i see 
this is the target, very important target. Okay. Uh, Matije is asking, could you post it via, via, via Twitter? Sure, I will do that. I will post uh, uh, via Twitter as soon as we finish with webinar. So, okay, and let me show you now. Let me show you my uh, screen on Euro Dollar. Okay, Euro Dollar. Very, very strong downtrend, guys. This is huge, huge downtrend. Look at daily; it's going down. It's breaking through all these barriers. It's still going down. And uh, what I see is eventually zero to six twenty to take a short, but we don't know where it will stop. Even if I put Fibonacci retracement, I don't know if it will if it will break to the downside. We don't have a retracement yet. Okay, we see 25, but we don't have any strong retracement. The only thing why I think that that level can be good, yes, 0.560. It, it, it is going down without any good retracement. This is it. This is, guys, very important level here. You can see previous confluence. This was an order block also here, and look at this. Selling happened at the break of 620, and there was a retest. So if this spikes up to retest 620, which is also 78.6 Fibonacci, I expect a fur further sell-off on Euro dollar, at least for some 30, 40 pip initially. But we will see. We need a retracement. We cannot short it now, really. No matter if we would be right or wrong, it's too low to short it. What I teach you is always short into rallies. Wait for rally. No matter if you lose a trade or not. I mean lose a trade if you don't open a position. Because you want to trade as a professional, not as a newbie trader. You want to buy lower and sell higher within a trend concept. So if it happens, good. If it doesn't happen, well, what can we say? I, I just won't, will not show it now. Pound dollar is in downtrend. We can see a sell at 51.10, stop loss at 51.70. This is the target for pound dollar, and this is also the target for possible scalp swing buy. So if we get 49.60 before any retracement, guys, see, I will be definitely, I'm already in a sell. This is one of my signal accounts, and it's already in a sell mode. I have a bigger account here, and uh, it's in a sell mode, and I'm, I will be looking to short another rally if it gets higher and it will be definitely 51.10 because I think that the main target for this sell-off now you see this was very strong support so guys <clears throat> you see 41.49 you see but if it breaks guys it should hit 49.60 definitely okay it should hit 49.60. Here, guys, this is market plan. Because if 59.90 is taken and 50.00 loses its support, it's very strong support. It's psychological support. Yes, guys, sell position at 51.10. This is the plan. Yes, this is the plan. And I already have a sell at 50.32. So I'm waiting for another retracement. This is my, you don't take, a, do not watch this. This is what you shouldn't be aware of. I, I will take another sell. So do not, do not take a look at it. Watch this level, 51.10. 
if it gets. We want to sell here also. This is for lower time frames. Okay, this is for lower time frames here, not for higher time frames. This will be either close here or I will let it run if it happens. Because I think that pound dollar should go down. Let's see. If it gets here, I will open another cell. If it gets below the level, I will probably scale out. But this is my personal position, so don't, don't watch it. What I want to say is that this is swing position. This is full swing position. Yes, if it doesn't retrace, I will buy here. I will treat the trade as a scalp swing, guys. So 49.60 will be my buy trade. Okay, here. If it doesn't get to this point here, I will buy it here. Okay? So pay attention to that. Pay attention to that. It's important for you to know it. Uh, Kuram is saying entry point was 1.0490. Yes, but for previous webinar, Kuram. For today webinar, today webinars is saying 49.60. Yes, 49.60. Guys, indeed, uh, what is... Uh, it, it says 49.60. Do you see it here? Please confirm that you can see it. 1.4960. Okay, it's... Yeah, okay, it's an error. It doesn't matter. Well, who works can make some mistakes. You know that this is one point. It doesn't matter. Well... <laughs> Okay, for a stop. No, no, no. Sorry, Greg. Is, 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 I really didn't see it. Everything is fine. <laughs> yeah, 1.4960 is entry, and I think we can go with 30 to 35 pip stop loss. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Isabella is asking, how do you define scalp swings? Scalp swing is in between scalp and intraday position. So. Usually, scalp swing is something like between in between 20 and 35 pips of profit. So you can try to get at, like at least 20 pips of profit with that. Okay, like 15 to 20 pips initially. And if the pair continues to move, let's say 25, 30 pips in profit, then you use always you use uh, profit stop. So let's say that you made an entry here, 1.4960, let's say, for example. And the price went to 49.85. So you are 25 pips in profit. What you can do is move your stop loss to 1.4980. And that means that you have secured your 20 pips. If the price proceeds to go up, let's say, 1.500 you can move your stop to 1.4995 so you secure 35 pips if it hits your stop it means it, it will hit your profit stop so you will be profit stop for let's say 20 30 pips whatever i think that this i would really love to see that this level hits because this could give us even if it doesn't happen I just don't want it to happen on Thursday. <laughs> if it happens before Thursday, it would be good. Because I think that we can make some money with this. Even if it's a normal scalp, 10 pips, it should reject the level, guys. This is historical level. It's important. So it should reject. At least for 10, 15 pips. You will see. I really hope so. Australian dollar. <clears throat> yes, guys, I know. 71.50. And uh, it was really, really a good entry, but uh, I said 7,250. You see where the price was? Okay, it, it, it came late after the webinar, so it, this level was initiated on 30th of November today. But look where, uh, did I say that 7,250 is strong level? And look what happened. You just need to use your own analysis also, and Pay attention to my previous analysis. Of course, if this happens during next five days, at least try to watch it. At least try to watch it. 
Uh, Ilya was saying, as your prophecy about GBP long at 49.9 fulfilled, does it mean that we can wait until your short prophecy? <laughs> prophecy, I like the word. It looks like, like I, I'm Nostradamus, <laughs> a prophet, an oracle, a clairvoyant. Well, <laughs> you know what my crystal ball is. It's, it's crystallized tarantula, which I really got from my good friend from UK. His name is Mr. Paul Kellers. And uh, he sent me a crystalli crystallized tarantula. And that is my crystal ball. I don't have a crystal ball as Nostradamus had back in the past. I look at my crystallized tarantula and she tells me where we should take trades. So, yes, guys, uh, about about euro, about pound dollar. If you see a hammer at 52.00, of course, Celia. But I want to show it a little bit lower. A little bit lower. Caesar is saying, isn't that... that <laughs> Isn't the head and shoulder developing on Australian dollar for our? Yes, guys, this is head and shoulders, indeed. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, this is indeed uh, head and shoulders. And, uh, <laughs> okay, I can say that uh, I would go with long position on 71.90, really. But the thing is, uh, now Ilya is saying tonight IMF will announce that the yuan will be a part of special draw rights. I don't know what will happen. I don't see it in the calendar, Ilya. Can you please uh, send me a link to that? I didn't see it. The only thing which I see here is, uh, yeah, this is cakes in manufacturing PMI on Chinese data. And yes, guys, I forgot to tell you, there will be a cash rate announcement. So be very careful about this. I will put this, be careful, guys, okay? Cash rate announcement, be very careful. I don't know if I would trade the position just because of cash rate announcement. But uh, Australian dollar looks like it could be bought. Now, this is a good place to sell, indeed, because this is head and shoulders. But, guys, what can happen is the price retraces here, and just after the news, it spikes up again. You see? Cash rate. Very strong news. So, guys, be very careful. I will, I will definitely write it down now. Okay. Where is my slide? Wait, guys, I don't see my slide. Okay, here. I will put it here, guys. Just a second. Be careful. Be careful. Careful. Cash rate announcement. Okay, I will show you now okay very important to okay here cash rate announcement so be careful okay we will see what will happen with yuan but thank you Ilya for telling me that thanks thanks a lot okay so this is what might happen. I will not, I don't uh, do news trading at this point, Jorens. I show you how I, I showed you already how I do news trading. But because I extensively trade during the day, I don't need news trading, really. Okay, we, we will not make any sell limit during the night, indeed. If, if it, if it, if it might happen, guys, then yes. If it happens, then we don't make any sell limits on euro dollar. But look at this. If this rejects here, it already started to reject. Look the look at the past. This was the past, right? This was the past here. Most recent past. So there was a lot of selling from this level. 
it's a part of head and shoulders. What may happen is that the price gets here and then bang, it shoots up to 71.90. Why 71.90? Because of this. Look, this is now an interim support, four hour support. I just tell you a few possibilities, I'm, I'm telling you a few possibilities which might happen. So take this as in reserve, definitely. Dollar CAD is in uptrend 32 by 3240, 3280 by 3240 stop loss, 3400 target. Possible long breakout if 3410 breaks with 3470. Yes, Sushant, Sushant is saying that Australian dollar is a wait and watch. Indeed, probably a wait and watch in all sense because we have cash rate announcement. Indeed. But just for your reference, if you see that something is happening, you might take your chance. But as I say, be careful. Dollar carry is buying on dips. Okay, guys, you see this candle. Yeah, okay, the same thing, definitely. With dollar cad, buy and rallies. You see, this is W. And it's still going up. If 3410 breaks, we should see upside. See? In the recent history, the price broke to 25. Look at this. Historically strong level, guys. Historically strong level. here see this was one touch in the history and then it was sold off so next time it breaks it can easily touch 3470 so we could see a breakout rate 3410 with 3470 target one touch you see big history here see was huge last time it was hit some 11 years ago guys 11 years history so i really think that if it breaks 3410 for the second time it should go to 3470 region as a breakout rate but let's wait and ODM sell at 9030 9060 stop loss 8920 is stop loss Here, ah, I, we missed it. Yes, because I was watching this candle while I was preparing the webinar, but I still think if it goes to the upside, it will be sold. ODN is strongly linked to equities. So guys, when you see that equities are being sold, you can watch ODN and see that it happens Simultaneously, when equities are getting hammered, Orient will get hammered too. Uh, well, this is our level to sell stop loss and target price. So this is target price. I, I will correct it, TP. Okay, so this is target price. Okay. look at this do you know how this pattern is called any one of you tell me how do we call this chart pattern no Ilya it's not a scallop pennant Yonat was fastest 
Yes, rising wedge, rising wedge, guys. Yorat is saying uh, pennant. Vefo and Greg are saying rising wedge, sell, 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 sell. Indeed, this is a rising wedge, guys. So no matter if our entry hits or not, be careful and be wary. If this level breaks to the downside, it should go down. Okay. 88.03, so 88. If 88 goes down, if it breaks, it should go down. Yes, it's cash rate, so we need to be there, definitely. Indeed, Greg, indeed. <clears throat> I, I agree with you. I'm just saying that from technical perspective, guys, this looks very bearish. Look, this is a rising wedge. This is bearish pattern. Look. And I was really, I was really keen to sell it here. But the thing is, I missed the entry because I needed to prepare a webinar. And that is why I'm trying to put the most recent information. I finish with my webinar now. I usually finish with preparation with all the slides 30 minutes before we go live. That is because I want to give you the most recent information. I cannot prepare my webinar five hours prior to webinar. So that is, I was really thinking to give you this cell here. But I was thinking again, okay, but it might sell off just from this point and it happened. So this is primary position. But I would really want to if I if I put it to sell it here because then you could have made some 40 pips by now which which was good yes Sushant is saying his Ichimoku cloud tells me to tells him to short or the end yes I also think especially because it follows equities okay so yes it should go down it should follow same with the break, guys. If this breaks, bang, it should go down. And Greg is saying we also have regular diver divergence. Yeah, everything is. Let me see. Orient. Yeah, with this indicator, okay, it should be, but it's still not a divergence here, according to MACD, because you see these two slopes are not showing divergence, Greg. See, it would be good if we see something like this, but see, it's, it's going up here. So this value should be lower than this one. Ah, on RSI. Okay, on RSI maybe. Not on MACD, but maybe on RSI. Okay, guys. Now, do, now prepare your questions. If you want me to show you some other pairs, be sure to type it in. <clears throat> dollar yen, dollar Swiss, Euro New Zealand, yes, of course. Uh, Law is saying, hey T, you had mentioned that there was a video on trading you New Zealand dollar a week ago. Could not find it on YouTube. Let me, wait guys, I will go with your questions. Just let me find it. Uh, I, I'm sure it was, let me uh, just, let's wait. I'm sure that I, I am not sure if I posted it by, from my profile. Ah, yes, here it is. Okay, guys, I will resume. Now, here, Law, this is the link. 
This was New Zealand, yes, a hard method indeed. Mm -hmm. Dollar yen, Greg, dollar Swissilia, dollar Swissi, dollar yen. Johnny is not sure about uh, rising wedge. Uh, Johnny, tell me, he th he thinks that my calling on yen in rising wedge is incorrect. Why do you think that this is not bearish? Everything is suggesting us that this is bearish, indeed. Look. Yes, guys, I will go with dollar Swiss and I, I would like to see a, an answer from... Uh, uh oh so many questions from uh johnny why he thinks that odn is not correct uh, no new odn odn is sell johnny odn is sell and uh, this is bearish wedge this is rising wedge bearish and if we shorted it here we would have been like 50 pips in profit i would go with a break here but the only thing why i would maybe wait for the trade is cash rate announcement so that is why i would wait with this but this is very bearish if it starts going down then i think that ultimately it will break to this level and go further down i really think so okay now uh, let's go with the analysis yes there should be a retest let's wait guys john is saying because the starting of your point is wrong due to cycle starting from low and not previous higher low i really don't understand you johnny this is by all means rising wedge this is by all means rising wedge and uh, even though if uh, you don't think that i'm correct this is what one hour candle is suggesting that i am correct indeed because it broke through this it, it was definitely i i saw it on four hour and look if you go with one and two here like this Okay, and zoom on one hour. What do you see? Three touch trend line. <laughs> yeah, you're not saying recommend outdoor charges for parents. So if you're not sure, uh, Johnny, please visit our webinars. My webinars, Price Section Trading School. This is Rising Wedge and it's a frequent parent. So you can find it on the internet. I didn't make it up. See? One, two, three touches. And look at this. If you raid out this trend line here, here at this touch, you could see a perfect rejection. So that is a wedge. Okay, next question. Uh, Dollar Swiss, dollar yen, New Zealand. Okay, whoa, what? Ooh. Dollar yen, dollar Swiss, euro, New Zealand. Dollar yen. Range. One of the reasons I didn't put the dollar yen on the chart, guys, this is a range. You see? This is a range. See how the range is respected. Double bottom, double top. This is the range. We don't trade the range, guys. We don't trade ranges. You see? Double top, double bottom. Now you just need to connect it. And, well, maybe you can try to sell from here or buy from there. The simple. Right? So that is how you can do it. Your stop loss is small. Above this high, your stop loss is also low, below this here. And so you go with... Okay, if the height was 74 and this was 
60. So you can do sell with 20 pip stop loss and buy with 20 pip stop loss if these two lines are touched. Okay, so this is range indeed. Uh, dollar Swissy. Buy, buy, buy. Dollar Swissy, buy. Okay, dollar Swissy is buy also. I cannot tell you where to buy dollar Swissy because uh, this is like no zigzag. This is very strong zigzag, very strong direct rise. So very hard to say because it's correlated to euro dollar negatively correlated with euro dollar let me show you like this this is a tool which you must use under market supreme edition have it euro dollar and dollar swissy Okay, it doesn't show correlation here. Let's wait. Here, Euro dollar, dollar Swissy, minus 87, guys. Very negative correlation. So when you buy Euro dollar, you also want to, you either buy Euro dollar or sell dollar Swissy. You don't buy Euro dollar and you don't buy dollar Swissy. Yes, uh, Sun, uh, Sun, Sushant. I, I understand what you are implying. He's saying that dollar Swiss is in buy mode and dollar yen is in buy range. Yes, dollar yen is range, dollar Swiss is buy mode. The only thing uh, where we could spot some probable retracement, I think there is correlation, yes. This is the level. 0.255, it could reject to the upside again. So watch for this level, okay? But I don't recommend trading it now. Okay, Ilya is saying that you and decision is decided. Okay, good, because we don't see any big, big movement in the market, so it didn't have any strong impact. Euro-Odi, we had a sell, and I closed the sell, Raymond. Raymond is asking for uh, opinion about uh, euro Audi, and yes if you remember my last euro Audi analysis i did tell you that you should sell it and yes if you sold it you should be in a profit this was my euro Audi analysis guys and uh, i hope that you made tons of pips with this very clear entry very strong entry. See? November 26. Yes, Raymond is saying yes, it was a very good trade. Indeed. So, guys, that was it. One more question, two more questions. Uh, Euro New Zealand. Weekly pattern and, and pound yen. Okay, Euro New Zealand. Sell on rallies. It looks like sell on rallies. Raymond is asking, I came into this late. Will you be having a meeting every Monday, same time? Yes, Raymond. Every Monday, same time. Five GMT plus one. Uh, 5 GMT, sorry, it's 6 GMT plus 1, which is my local time, because I'm in GMT plus 1 time zone. London is GMT, so it's 5 p.m. London time, until we uh, go with uh, summer time. Until then, it's always the same time, so it's, it's always the same time. Thank you, Raymond. You're welcome. You're... I'm expecting you here next Monday. Uh, yes, I will roll the slides. Euro New Zealand, you see, Euro New Zealand weekly time frame. Weekly time frame on Euro New Zealand is heavily bearish. Uh, Euro New Zealand is on uh, strong support now. Here you see the zone support. But uh, you, 
you should wait for a retracement before you start to sell. So this is a strong, strong, strong uh, support here. So we will see if it will bounce, but it's indeed in strong support. Uh, guys, uh, ha, Carlos is saying first time here. Uh, here, awesome. Okay, okay, guys, I need to be quick with this because I'm running out of time. Uh, okay. Uh, I cannot take a look at gold now. We don't have a time, guys. We will be going through slides, uh, so I cannot roll. Uh, I cannot show you the gold. Sorry, and Dex, I need a time, but we don't have a time. I only have three minutes left. Uh, but let's see if, if euro dollar is going down, gold should follow indeed. So you should be in profit indeed. Uh, okay, weekly pound yen. I also pound yen, and you see pound yen. It's buy on dip, uh, contrary to pound dollar. This is buy on dip. So let me be quick with this. I cannot do full analysis, but. Let's say this is the level for you to watch. You could make some scalp here. 484.90. Possibly good for a scalp trade. But you see, this starts to go up. This is W pattern. Here, this was breakout spot. It could be a retest and surge up. But, of course, it's correlated to pound dollar. But pound yen is stronger than pound dollar now at this point. Because yen is weaker than dollar. And slides, and we are finished, guys. Okay. I will show you the slides. Euro dollar. Pound dollar. Australian dollar. Dollar CAD. And or the end. Before I finish, guys, I want you just to pay attention. I, I uh, change the time, which will be updated uh, on uh, webinars, only for Wednesday, December webinars. Next price section trading school, trading school will start at uh, 17:45, guys. Please take a look at this. I will. You should, uh, if you're registered, you should get a notification. So your starting time should be. 17:45. So I moved my Wednesday webinars, okay, in December by 45 minutes. So instead of 17, it will start at 17:45. Okay, so it will be updated. Please take a look at this. 17:45. This will remain the same. Only Wednesday and Thursday webinars, okay. But you should be notified. Thank you, guys. Okay, that was all. I hope that we will make something out of it. But as, I, as I'm, I'm telling you again, this will be very, very strong week. A lot of fundamental data. Uh, do not overtrade and trade carefully. Let's see if, uh, <laughs> if we make pips. Uh, thank you for your time also, Raymond. And thank you, guys. Uh, cheers and trade safe.